Yo, how's it going, guys? Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to another live stream. Today is the third time that I am live streaming. I am uh, currently in free market. Tonight is a Monday night. Currently, it's 7.45 p.m. Feeling good. Just had dinner. Um, broccoli and rice with some furokake on top. Tonight we're going to be training at Teddy's and Crow. Now, I say Teddy's and Crow because um, I might go back to Crow's. Currently we're in Ludibrium, I brought my character over here. I tried grinding Crow's, um, I think from level 24 to level 26. It is quite slow because, um, let's say like, for example, if the Crow is like right here, right? And I throw a magic claw at it, it's not gonna hit. And so as a result, like I found it very difficult to um, pretty much hit my targets. So I've decided to come here. It is very fast because I'm like pretty much one-shotting these. Uh, but before I start KS, I'm gonna ask, hi, hi, do you want to party? Let's drop in the F2. I am strong. Sure, okay, okay, I will add you. So yeah, tonight we are, uh, you know, chill Monday, Monday night. We're not going to go too crazy. Um, we're just going to be grinding on Ice Cold Asahi and also just talking about um, a few things that, you know, I'm working on and things that you guys might want to see. Um, speaking of, why do I feel like I'm weaker today? Did I forget something? Uh, France... Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. France? 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 She? France? She? France? She team, welcome to the stream. Good seeing you on this Monday night. I don't think I'm missing any uh, equipments. Like, as you guys can see here, I kind of stack myself up with some gear that I can use in the upcoming levels. Um, but before I get too far ahead of myself, um, I just want to quickly check if I'm able to one-shot these if I pop like one of these cooked secret for 10 minutes. Because right now we're just missing on some mana. So I'm pretty sure maybe... Um, if we pop like a cook zebra, mm, I don't know. Like, what is our TMA right now? It's 300. So I feel like I need to be like 400 TMA to be one shotting these constantly. Not super sure. Um, I wonder if I should smega that I am streaming. But then I'll have to log out of this account because I don't really have much NX on this account. So maybe I'll do that later on. Maybe, uh, let's see if maybe my buddies are on. I was gonna be like, yo, can you guys smeg up for me? <laughs> so I don't have to log on and do it myself. Um, oh yeah, I should probably have music playing. Um, give me one second, let me just crank this up. All right. How's how's the audio there? Can you guys hear me just, just okay? Also, um, last time I streamed, I had a bit of an issue with uh, my stream bit rate being terrible and it was lagging everywhere so if you guys experienced that just uh, let me know um, but I think we got that all sorted out I don't think I should have issues with that anymore but pretty much it's like when I start my OBS it's telling me that I need to have some sort of like a system um, some sort of system like some graphics card or something I'm not super sure but I don't have the graphics card uh, but it's still okay because I think I changed like how it's encoded or however that works. Oh, this guy is uh, ice lining too. That's pretty interesting. All right, we're uh, we're gonna log on to my main, and uh, I'm going to smeg a cookie with that your boy cuisine is now live on YouTube. Da -da -da. Okay, just pardon me for a sec. I'm gonna be like semi AFK on my ice lining while I drop this gigantic smega on everyone. There's DC. Oh my god, it's DC. No. Okay, I'm gonna relaunch my client. Um, but yeah, this is actually pretty fast. Like, we are in leech level, so the fact that we are partying with level 33, it's not gonna really tank our EXP. If anything, he should be killing faster because he has uh, Thunderbolt. We're not getting EXPs from Pink Teddies though, so I wanna try to get to level 27 as soon as I can. Uh, the level gap is five levels, plus or minus, in case you guys don't know. Okay, let me see if this works now. Da 
da-da-da-da-da. We are now live on YouTube. All right, we are back. We're back. Yeah, so what we want to do tonight, um, it's currently 7.52 p.m. And uh, my goal is to try to hit like level 20, let's say like level 29. That should be pretty tangible, right? Let's say if I stream until 9. Um, realistically, I need to go to bed by like 10 p.m. So technically, we can stream for like two hours if, uh, if my brain can keep up. But otherwise, we'll be streaming for about an hour, hour and a half. And uh, again... You guys probably see by the title and also by the overlay. My goal tonight is to hit second job. Now, I'm not going to be doing the job advance because technically I should be recording this as footage instead. Um, but I decided, well, if I'm going to be grinding anyways, like why not go live, right? And just kind of talk to you guys. And also in one of my previous Let's Plays before, you guys were like, oh, sorry, not you guys, but some people were like, oh, this guy is lying. Like he like reaches some levels. Um, Cause you guys don't see me like the whole process going from level one to level 70 so some people are like oh this, this guy leached like two levels or whatever no i i'm not saying i didn't leash those levels but i'm just saying that since i'm not leashing those levels i want to show to you guys that i'm actually grinding um and you know on a on a monday night it's pretty therapeutic to just be able to like casually drop magic claws and not worry about um, in gear hs you know your your exp your missiles per minute um <clears throat> Oh, someone just said, uh, yo, I want to mention your YouTube name in Mega. Yeah, that's that's true. That's true. My bad. Uh, I already logged out. So, yo, if any of you guys watching have a spare Smega that don't mind sparing it, because <laughs> I, I just don't want to log on again to Audemars. It's just too much work. Um, maybe let people know that it's closing. But otherwise, no worries. I mean, I know you guys are here. That's that's really all that matters. If other people find me, then that's great. But otherwise, you, know, you guys, you guys is all I need. Um, but yeah, for those of you that just joined, I see there's a few people in here right now. Welcome to the stream. Uh, this is the Ice Cold Asahi stream. If you guys have been following the Let's Play series, then you might know that we've hit level 22. When did we leave off? We, we, we hit like level 22. And then we went to uh, KPQ a little bit. Got our squishy shoes right here. Uh, right here. The two inch squishy shoes that Dragon Bow was very salty about. <laughs> and then uh, we grinded crows for a little bit. You guys will see that in the next Let's Play video. But I noticed that crows are actually very hard to hit. Like, let's say the crow is like right here, right above his yellow box. Then my magic claw won't be able to hit it. Nice. We got level 27 now. So it's an int. <sighs> Do I so much? Okay. Um, so yeah, like basically crow wasn't really working out for us. So I decided to just go back after I hit level. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my man. Uh, Woes, live on YouTube, cuisine channel name. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You helped me out big time there. Um, as I was saying, um, yeah, crows basically is like very hard to hit. The hitbox is so small. And also the fact that I don't have teleport just makes it kind of a chore. Compared to Teddy's where I just stand on like one spot, as you can see me and just spam magic all. All I gotta do is turn left or right for the most part. And yeah, the spawn is just crazy. It doesn't ever stop. So I'm going to stay here until probably level 35, I'm thinking. Um, level 35 will get me probably like 15 points into Thunderbolt, plus or minus one or two stats. Um, and then hopefully by then I can start doing some damage, like hopefully one-shot the crows, because if I can't one-shot crows, there's really no point for me to take Thunderbolt over to crows. Ooh, I got a gash bomb today. So uh, yeah, that's the game plan right now. Um, now for these levels, I don't know if I'll able to um, put them into a let's play video just because I'm not. I'm still not very sure how streaming 
works like this is only my third stream ever first stream on ice cold asahi um and the rest of them were on my main automars but i think youtube allows you to like download your stream and then crop them however you like but the problem is these streams are like an hour plus long so if i have to download like an hour plus long stream i think i'd rather just leave it out because it's not like you guys can't you know go back to these vods and see myself leveling in a lot a big part of it is myself documenting my journey as well so yeah i don't know we'll see we'll see what happens um i popped another wizard elixir but i think for the next one i'm going to pop a cooked sea brim bream bream does bream mean like like shrimp or something like that i actually never had bream before maybe i should look up what bream means um but yeah how, how are you guys doing how is everyone's monday night i hope you're having a blessed start of the week um hopefully an easy start of the week hopefully no like major fires that you guys gotta put out for work um and if you guys didn't work today or you work from home and probably grinded maple legends the whole day then i hope your maple legend session was very enjoyable if you scrolled anything hope it turned out well if you grinded anything i hope a lot of scrolls and equipments dropped <laughs> um yeah that's uh that's pretty much my blessings to everyone right now we are on ice cold asahi it's currently 7 58 p.m we're probably going to be on for an hour and a half for those of you that just joined us um our goal right now is just to focus on killing these teddies and to hit second job now you might see on the bottom of my uh, the overlay that I just kind of whipped up for myself is the it's a pretty bad overlay. Um, just kind of to fill up the sidebar since I play on eight hundred by six hundred. We are looking for a level forty three staff now. Today I talked to Knights. Uh, he's one of the uh, ex GMs, a very very skilled player at the game, very knowledgeable. He mains a uh, ice lining, and I was asking him like, what should my game plan be? Because aside from killing crows, I don't really have a game plan of like. No, level 40 I want to come here level 50 I should go there so I asked him where I should go and he told me that by level 40 I should try to go to gold ship which is like a 15 like a at least a 15 level difference I think so with that being said I want to get myself a very strong either maple llama staff or a nocturnal staff now I don't have either of those on my account I have a maple staff that was kindly donated donated by Meister, aka the greenest man on Maple Legends. And I also have a poison mushroom. This one I made myself a long time ago. I landed a staff 30% and then I finished it with 60%. So it's a pretty good staff, but I think I need something closer to probably like 65 magic attack um, if I want to go to Ghost Ship by the time that I'm like level 43. So with that being said, if you guys have any Maple Llama staff or Nocturnal staff that you're interested in selling, please do let me know. Market's pretty dry at the moment. I don't know if it's because the anniversary is coming on and people just chose to like not list their stuff. Or maybe it's because there's just not that many in the market. I quite frankly don't follow mage stuff all that often. Like the, the whole concept of like total magic attack just confuses me. But um, we will see. We will see how that works when we get there. All I know is that I have a lot of int gear from my other characters, so um, we should be good for a while. But yeah, we definitely, like you can see here, our level 70 wand is purple, and I take that to mean it's pretty decent. I think it's like plus 10 magic attack uh, from a clean elemental wand, so that's all we're gonna be rocking for a while. Now, if I do come across better ones, um, again, I'm gonna try to keep my, this character self-funded i'm not gonna like move money from automars or anything it's not like i have much there i still have to grind on it um on like weekends i think i'll grind like memory lane 5 on weekends but the weekdays i'll just focus on working on uh ice cold Asahi just to you know spend equal time with each character not to be biased towards one. uh sorrow you said you have one i'll just give it to you oh man i appreciate it Th is this scrolled or uh is it is it clean also how much are they Hopefully I can get like three maybe, and then I'll just drop like 30s on it. And if 130 passes, I'll I'll just toss like 60% on it. Um, that's probably gonna be my game plan because I'm not trying to go for something super crazy here. I can aim for like 65, I think that'll be a good. I think clean, clean ones are like 58 attack if I'm not mistaken. So 
the highest attack clean is like 63. Um, Ray G says, is eyelining mages much better than bishop? It depends what stage of the game you're in. If you're just playing Maple Legends for the first time, then bishop is the 150% best character that you should make right away if you want to have the easiest time and the most um, meta progression. Let's just call it that. It's the most streamlined way to play Maple Legends by starting off with a bishop. But if you have like, if you already have like, um, let's say like a like a hero or like a dark knight or maybe like an unwashed night lord and now you're looking to make your second character, you can look into making a ice lightning just because um, you, you have a bit more experience on the game and maybe you have like friends and stuff that can help you level. Ice lightning is good because they do slightly more damage than bishops. So if you're ever in a map that um, you can just barely one shot, like for example, my bishop um, can like it can one shot like 20% of the time at Ulu 2. Uh, rats. It can one shot 20% of the time on Ulu 2, but um, which means like the rest of the time it can't one shot. So it's pretty annoying because I'm pretty much like two shotting the whole time. And so if you play an Ice Lightning Mage, the incremental amount of damage you do over bishops will make your experience a lot more easier. Um, and also that's just talking about ultimate skills. Like if you're talking about uh, the ability to go bossing or like the ability to I don't know, heal and support your party members, each of the classes has their own good and bad. Um, I do like Ice Lightning for just merely its cool factor since it's like the character that I'm working from the ground up. And uh, that's what's appealing to me. But I probably will make a HS Mule down the road, which if you guys are new to Maple Legends, HS Mule pretty much means like a, uh, a, 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 a priest that you get to level 81 and you have max holy symbol and you just leave it, at the, uh, leave it at that level. So you can bring it around to like different maps, assuming that you're not gated by quests such as like memory lanes and temple of time. You can bring, bring it around to different maps and just use that uh, holy symbol skill to cast it on your own characters and a lot of people do that uh, when they sell leech on their archmages sixty six tma sorrow said um sixty six tma i think that's fine man no worries thank you so much though because I, this this mushroom is already sixty six tma if i'm not mistaken i could be counting it wrong but um i'm gonna try to find one that i can like cost 30 on so i really appreciate it though thank you so much if only there's like innocent scrolls in this game right <laughs> that'd be so sweet catch my breath for a second here i'm still getting used to the the flow of streaming like someone told me i should turn my mic up so i don't have to talk as loud but then again it feels kind of weird like because the mic is pretty far away from me right now so if i just start whispering um i don't know how does it sound to you guys? Like this is me talking a lot softer. It also makes me sound kind of tired. <laughs> how's the uh, how's 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 the volume right now? Oh, into is one to one with TMA. I see, I see. Oh, um, Soro, I remember you telling me you have like a one, like a level one fifty six or like a one sixty five bishop, right? If I am to improve my gear, what would you recommend for me? So, my cape right now is sixteen inch. Um, from what I can see, this is a pretty good cape. I saw a uh, 18 TMA cape in uh, the Maple Legends Discord earlier today for like 85 mil. Like, what what cape is what cape is like considered good for magicians? Because I don't really look into like mage capes. All I've been looking at is just like in capes. I don't know what TMA I'm gonna end up at. When I'm like level 130, but hopefully it's around like 1100, so I can actually start one shotting uh, Ulu 2. That'll be very nice. Yeah, that's a dope cape. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I don't know what's like good or bad when it comes to mages, because you know, items like uh, gloves, earrings, capes, like some some of them can be scrolled with magic attack, and some have more than others. And so I'm like pretty confused when it comes to like how to properly gear my character. Okay, let me pop a cook sea breed. And see how our damage improves. Damn, we are okay. We were almost straight one shotting, <laughs> so close. But I would say we're one shotting like eighty percent of the time, which is pretty good. Let's make sure we 
get the most we can out of this. Uh, I think this item is like 200k on the market. I got it from the Lunar New Year events. So got it for free pretty much. And it's not like people really go out of their way to buy these unless you have like a stack of them. So we'll just go ahead and pop these four cooked sea rings. Um, or maybe we'll save one for like when we're battling Alishar or something. My plan with this Let's Play series, well, part of the plan is to record a boss fight with myself and every boss in the PQ. So we'll be doing, we already did the Kerning PQ's boss, King Slime. Um, we will be doing Alishar, we'll be doing the Ellen PQ's boss. Orbis PQ is a bit of the pain in the ass to find a party for, but we'll do our best. Um, and then after that is Pirates PQ, and then Megasha PQ, Frankenroid, Frankenstein will be pretty fun, so I'm very looking forward to that. Uh, especially since I think I'll be doing some damage by the time I get to that level. Won't Bishop will be easier to make money on, or is much Ice Lightning much stronger? So, it really depends on how deep into the game you are. As I said, if you're a newer character to... Uh, sorry, not newer character. If you're newer to Maple Legends, 100% Bishop is the way you want to go. However, if you already funded yourself a little bit, like you already have Inked Gear, then I would recommend starting Ice Lightning. That's pretty much the stage of the game that I'm in right now, where um, I don't really want to pour more money into my Bishop. Um, but at the same time, with just the amount of funding that it has right now, I'm not able to one-shot um, certain maps like Ulu 2. I can't one-shot. Most of the level 90 monsters, I'm not able to one-shot right now. And so for me, it's like, well, instead of investing like 600 mil into a Maple Warrior 20, uh, it's like 100% pass service that I'm using the price for, by the way. Or like a, you know, 170 attack TMA one. I'd rather just train this character up and grind some missiles in the process, um, and then use Ice Lightning to be the main attacker while I have like an HS Mule to, to buff myself. Your 149, your cape is 17 TMA. Oh, okay, okay. So my cape is pretty good then. That's good, that's good. I'll keep it the way, the way it is now. I don't really know what to upgrade right now. I think if anything, I might upgrade my wand, which is not currently me on right now. My wand is, I think, 160 TMA. Um, and I got it for like really cheap before. I don't know if like 160 TMA is expensive. I don't think so. It's probably like 40 mil. But um, I see like when you start to get into like the 170 territory and plus it starts to get very, very expensive. <clears throat> oh, how's everyone doing? How's everyone's nights going? If you just joined the stream, welcome, welcome. By the way, we currently have four Gatchapon tickets. Now, this is like the lifetime of this character. I've gotten five in total. Uh, the other one was a rare Gatchapon ticket that you guys saw me use in the last episode, in episode three. I got a helmet for dex, 70%. Uh, I still haven't had a chance to use this one. Um, or sorry, not use it. <laughs> I'm not gonna use it on Ice Cold Asahi, but uh, I, haven't, I haven't had a chance to sell it yet. But once I do, it'll yield us some pretty good potion money. I haven't been doing much with my mesos. Like again, um, if you guys recall, in the beginning of this series, someone donated 100k to us uh, just because we were begging the FM. <laughs> and then uh, I gave myself a mil from my other characters. So we started with 1.1 mil. Now we're about half of that just from buying mostly mana elixirs. Um, but uh, hopefully by the time that we hit level 35, which is when we're going to get our Thunderbolt attack, we can start doing some more significant mesos at Crows. Can you unprivate Bubble Man's videos? Yo, man. <laughs> the fact that you say that, I really respect it because, yeah, that means that you've been watching for a long time. Um, I could definitely unprivate it. Yeah, no problem. I'm, I'm probably going to change the title so it doesn't have um, Maple Royals in the title just because I'm going to get probably videos taken down since I'm not very active on that channel. But I can definitely unprivate it. And if you're already subscribed, like you can go back and watch it, relive your childhood, all those kind of things. I'll do it after the stream ends. Um, mid 170s get ridiculous. Yeah, the, the 170s are like, like my my sword on my hero was like 380 coins, and 380 coins equivalent. Actually, would you know, Sorrow? Like, what is a 380 coin equivalent when it comes to a one? Like, what TMA would I be looking? Picasso says, Ah, okay, that makes sense. Do they have maple items on the server? I'm assuming you're going luckless. Yes. So, um. A tip for Maple Legends, so it sounds like you're new to- Ooh, I leveled up. Give me one second, let me just click this in, and uh, put it on 
magic guard. What should I put next? Is it improve MP recovery? Hmm. I'll look this up later. I'm not sure what I need to max next. Um, by the sounds of it, you are probably new to the server, so welcome. Um, there are maple items and they are fairly accessible. The magician ones are the most expensive uh, and then closely followed by Thief by Rogues, like Maple Claw, Kendale, Skanda, all those kind of things. But otherwise, like if you're playing like an archer, brawler, uh, any warrior class, or even like if you're trying to go after daggers, it's very easy to find affordable options that um, you can definitely secure yourself a maple weapon, even if that's your first ever character on the server. So yeah, I would definitely recommend going luckless or dexless or whatever it is. The only thing I would say is if you're playing a warrior, you should get at least 20 base decks. Um, just so you're not your life is not miserable trying to look for like a brown bandana or a blue Wisconsin but um, yeah, otherwise it's pretty easy to get um, And yeah, I definitely do suggest you to try this game out I've played both this game and Royals as you probably just heard uh, Me talking to Kwong. I find Maple Legends to be a lot more like Similar to what old school experience actually feels like just because people aren't as power hungry and, and, and damage driven like there's more of a sense of a community here and people do party quests a lot more uh, and there's also like a lot of i'm gonna call it quote unquote weird people that like to you know play the tougher game modes for no reason like there's guys that prohibit themselves from leeching themselves there's guys that prohibit um they have like a community like they have a guild called syrians and you can only trade with other members in the guild and it just makes the game a lot more involved but at the same time a lot more tough but if that's something that you know you want to really get into and really relive the experience then i would definitely suggest trying out maple legends kwan says they're very nostalgic yeah man it's it's crazy like seeing how many videos i've made in the past on just different channels and how my editing style has changed over the years is very uh makes me feel old <laughs> makes me feel like i spent way too much time editing Maple Legends videos. I, I swear I've spent over like, okay, every video, the ones before that had like text going everywhere, had like GIFs and like animation going everywhere. Those those would take me like seven to eight hours per video. It's, it's a lot of time. Um, and so I probably put out at least 30 of those before. So I wanna say like 500, 600 hours is probably like the amount of time I spent, which, you know, in, in comparison with a lot of guys who like grind games endlessly, it's not a lot, but to me, like, and I'm, I'm not saying that I would have done differently, um, but yeah, it's just crazy, like, looking back at how much time I spent editing videos and, you know, getting to this point of my current editing style, which is, I guess, a lot, um, I want to call it, like, to the point, you know, I use a lot of, like, zooms and crops, but yeah, I think it kind of fits into the TikTok trend of everyone getting lazier and lazier to process information. So it's like, if you want to show something, you just pop it right in front of them. <laughs> That's kind of my ethos to um, editing videos right now. Um, I assume Asahi your favorite beer. Yes, Ray, Asahi is my absolute favorite beer. Um, I, I really like Japanese beer just as a whole, but Asahi, they have this special Asahi here. Um, well, it's not only in Canada, but I've had it once in Canada at a restaurant. It's like Asahi Black, and it's a lot stronger, but not in the not in like the bitter taste. It's hard to explain. It's actually been a while since I had it because I can't find it in stores. I think like they import it to a distributor and the restaurants get to order from it. But if you have the chance, if you ever come across Asahi Black on the menu, I would definitely suggest trying it if you're a beer person. Um... Picasso says, okay, cool, I haven't played in like 15 years, I'm thinking of doing a bishop as first gear. Hey, if you come to Maple Legends, I will give you some gear to start out. I'll give you some potion money as well. Um, but yeah, definitely, I want to try to get as many people, you know, playing this game as well as I think. I just, I really support the game. Like, I think it's it's run, it's run by a team of great people, great GMs. Um, the staff are very hands-off. They take a very hands-off approach. So you're not going to get regulated for like, say, you know, weird stuff which you guys might see later on in Smega. sometimes uh there's this alliance um in maple legends it's between sleepy wood and period and guys there are weird <laughs> um, but i say that to say that you know people have a lot of freedom here oh i guess i should have popped this a lot earlier people here have a lot of freedom you you say and do whatever you want and uh overall it's just a great vibe like even if you don't hit late game 
if you play a magician, you, you, you really can't go wrong with it, whether you choose to like have an early game or you want to go all the way into late game. If it's not too personal, how old are you? I'm, I'm, I'm 20, I'm gonna say I'm level. <laughs> I'm 28 years old. Oh, hey, same same as my level. No wonder, like subconsciously, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm level 28. I'm 20, uh, 28 years old. Well, turning 20 this September. Uh, yeah, yeah, turning 28 this September. Oh, uh, Snipel, I just saw you. I don't know if you're in the stream, but... What's up? <laughs> I have him on my uh, buddy list on, on my hero. What's the most expensive watch I own? Currently, the most expensive watch I own is a Tudor Prince Chrono. Um, it's like a neo vintage watch they made back in the 1990s and the 2000s. It's a Tritium Dao Prince Chrono. Um, tiger motif, it's, it's a panda. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll pop an image in the next video somehow. Let's try to integrate it in there so you can take a look. But yeah, I'm a big watch guy. Uh, not as much lately, like as of this year, because I need to save my money for other things. Uh, responsibility related. Why? He doesn't know who I am. It's Cuisine. I'm live on YouTube right now. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm big into watches. Uh, 380C, looking at the Discord, it falls probably somewhere in the upper 180. What? 180? No way. 183 TMA, 850. Wow, that's crazy. Gosh, I was looking at 167. Um, hey, what's the difference between 16 and 7? Like, if I'm an ice lining, which one should I use? Does it... Like, does it matter? Do it. Um, is there a difference between... Like, I remember back in, back when I was like 9 years old, 9 or 10 years old, I remember being in Taiwan. And MapleStory was so big back then, they would print dedicated magazines just for MapleStory. And there would be like strategies in there talking about gear and like how to distribute your SP and things like that. Um, and I remember something in there saying that uh, fire poisons use a specific wand, and ice lightnings use another wand. And bishop doesn't really matter which one you use because there's no such wand with like holy uh, elements in it. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know which which wand I should be using. I'm so Oh shit! What level are you? Um, do you play with Bang Hero? No, I don't play with Bang Hero. We used to like do a lot of videos together, but. Um, I've gone busy and I like just took too, way too many breaks um, from the game and we have like this discord server that um, all the video, all the content creators were in but I like left it every single time I took a break from the game just cause like everything's so distracting right so I, I would leave like I'm one of those guys that like if I take a break I'll leave the guild server, I'll leave the Maple Legends server and I just leave everything and I think that kind of rubbed him the wrong way. So we don't really do videos together anymore, but you guys definitely go check him out. His, uh, his videos are so great. Like he has really good production value. Also, he spends a lot of time uh, in Neo Tokyo as well. So that's something that I don't really do on, on Mars. Have you ever met up with anyone from Legends in real life? Uh, yes, I have actually, I have actually. Um, yo, what's up? There were... Uh, two people that i met up with so there's there are a couple um if you guys watch one of my older videos was, the thumbnail is like two guys and myself standing in the middle and we were scrolling a bunch of raccoon masks so i met up with those people i met them on maple legends and then they came over to canada for a vacation and we met up for dinner it was super sweet it was super cool they were the, the chillest people ever um, and that was my only time meeting people but i will definitely say like i, I i'm down to do it again if you guys are in Ever in Vancouver, let me know. Vancouver, Canada. I'm down to meet up. Yes, sir. Trying to hit that 30. Um, oh, yeah. You'll wind up using 1.7. They'll have different elements. They align with 1.5. Fire, 1.6. What is it? 1.7 ice, 1 igniting. Okay, so what you're telling me is if I want to, let's say, go bossing on my ice lining, then I should rock a 1.8. So it's like, is it like I should have two weapons? <laughs> is that something people do? I'm done on training today. You almost 50. Uh, where are you training? Master Chronos? That's a good yes sir. Any helm decks? Fire. 
Yeah, I want to hit uh, hit up Master Chronos as soon as I can too. I think I'll go there after I job advance to see if I can like two shot them. Because if I can two shot them, I might stay there just because in the odd chance that I get a Helm deck 60%, that makes my time worth it. Uh, by the way, guys, Helm deck 60%. There's an X. Helm deck 60% goes to around 5 mil, like 4.9 to 5 mil. And uh, in the grand scheme of things, if you're brand new to Maple Legends, that's a lot of money. Um, so yeah, if you're like Picasso, for example, if you want to join the game, definitely like when you're around level 40, level 50, go grind Master Chronos. It's the best source of income you can get as an early game. Oh, they probably did, but sold it. Oh shit, it drops this. If you get it, it's like 4.9 mil. This, this, yeah. Don't sell it to anyone, guys. Don't don't sell it for low. Um, that's it's it's worth money, <laughs> and it's gonna help you out a long way. Like especially if you're looking to get yourself some maple items, uh, maple weapons to rock, then you'll definitely want to try to farm yourself a helm deck 60%. Yeah. Hard to get. Uh, Ray says, damn, in Seattle, you're pretty near. Yeah, man, yo, maybe sometimes uh, I'll run into you. Like, I go into Seattle sometimes, like, usually during summer months, just for like a weekend away. Um, uh, what do you do for work? I want to move to Vancouver, but the cost of living is crazy. Yeah, it, it is crazy. It is crazy. My work is very similar to editing videos, though. It's not like it's it involves media. I'll just say that it, it involves media. Um, Cost of living definitely is pretty crazy, but uh, you know if you if you put your head down, grind for a little bit at the start of your career, like assuming that you're, um, you know, assuming you don't have a profession yet, then yeah, just 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 put your head down, grind for your career. You'll find a decent you know paying job uh, depending on your age. Now, if you already have a profession, then I, I guess it depends on what you do. Um, there are definitely a lot of job opportunities in Vancouver. You just gotta like network a little bit and. Know what people are, are looking for. Um, yeah, that's that's all I can really say. I mean, I spent a lot of time playing Maple Legends during my downtime just to kind of chill out and relax and de-stress myself. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think Vancouver is great. I wouldn't recommend immigrating here or anything like that, just because you know I won't get into like stuff like too detailed on the Maple Legends stream on the political level, if you know what I mean. But I, I think it's 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 a fun place to visit. I don't know about moving here. Um, you buy scroll llama staff. Yo, yes, if I can afford it. <laughs> I'm just trying to get lucky with 30%, so I don't know if I can buy. What teammate do you have? I don't know, like, what I can afford. Oh, shit. 83, holy, holy. How much is that? Snibble, did you say something? Nice look, man. Sorry if I reply reply slow and talking on stream. Um, they give like 10-25% bonus damage. Damn, that is a lot of damage. Totally could use them situationally. Don't call me on actual person. Yes, please. How long is the 1 to 30 grind and the 30 to 70 grind a month or so? And I'll definitely hit you up on a dial of it, maybe like a weekend warrior. <laughs> yeah, man, no worries. I, I mainly play on the weekend as well. Um, to be quite frank, like, usually I don't have time to play this much, but like this week, I'm, well, not this week. Probably like this month is a little bit more, I don't want to say like chill at work, but it's just like, I'm just like, fuck, man. I mean, let me just install me for like 15C. That's like 40 mil, if my math correct. Uh, 15, 40 mil, 83, uh, 40 mil, sounds about right, but can I get back to you in an hour? Need to grab things. Yeah, sounds, sounds not bad, sounds about right. Um, it will really help us level up, that's for sure. Uh, 1 to, sorry, 1 to 30 grind. So 1 to 30 grind is probably like 3 days. Um, assuming you play like, I guess, four to five hours a day, it's actually pretty fast, especially if you go to KPQ, there's always people running Kerning City Party Quest. If you can early the better, you're gonna get a bet soonish. Okay, okay. Uh, 
Let me add you. Grab it from later. Smell mule. Yeah, so it's about honestly less than a week. Sorry, interrupting myself. Nephis. It's about less than a week. Um, 30 to 70 is gonna take a while, but to be quite honest, like 30 to 70 is most of where the fun is. I would say 70 to 120 is where the real pain starts. However, if you're playing a mage, like it's all pretty chill. Um, 30 to 30 to 50 is probably like a week to week and a half, depending on how much time you play. And then 55 to did I say 55? I'm like tripping myself out. Um, 55 to 70 for mages is probably like a week because all you gotta do is you gotta go ship and you heal uh, your way through those levels. Assuming you're playing a magician. What's up? So yeah, honestly, magician leveling, super easy. And uh, if you play a magician, it's gonna help your other character level faster as well. Um, are you still into K-pop? Yeah, I, I listened to it here and there. Like I was really into twice for a while this is probably like 2019 2020 but then their music sucked <laughs> like the girls are hot but the music is bad and since then like there's been a lot of good girl groups out like new jeans and la seraphim but like yeah I, those are just strictly for the music like, the, the girls are just like they're like kindergarten to me uh that makes me feel old but what is it play warrior it's fun yeah warrior good to start yeah, I will say like if you're looking to start Maple Legends, definitely play a Bishop if you like mages because that's the absolute best starter you can go with. Um, but if you're more like a melee cleave kind of guy, then any Warriors is a good option as well. Um, however, with Warriors, if you're playing Dark Knight, it might be a little different. Like Paladin or Heroes, but I would recommend. Snubble here watching you twice. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. Who's your fave? Yo, honestly, man, like, see, it's questions like these that I'm proud to say that I don't, like, know the member's name. Um, just because like, I don't really, like, look into the girls and stuff. I just like the music and, like, okay, another thing I want to mention about K-pop is throughout my time of listening and just, like, checking out and understanding K-pop, I think a lot of it is, it's all, like, marketing and label stuff because you have these girl groups that come out of nowhere and they'll have, like, one bang. Like they, they'll come out with one banger and then it's like the labels will see how the population reacts to it now if the population likes it if the girls have like you know if they're pretty if they have good like uh, charisma and the ability to hold the crowd well then the label will invest more bangers uh, into these groups now i think the way they get these bangers because like obviously there's no way that these girls there's no way new jeans like the the what is it four to five girls combined together wrote all the songs that i have put out right like there must be a group of writers like specialist k-pop writers that's like a pool of them that's shared between the labels it's very similar to how like um r b and just just pops pop music work in in the north america northern hemisphere you probably have these labels in korea that employs the, the circle of writers and they write these songs and they like probably charge based on how much of a banger these songs are and uh yeah i think like groups like new jeans like they came out with with their first ep everyone caught on and so the label was like okay you guys are it you guys are gonna be the one that blow the fuck up and uh yeah that's just kind of how it goes that's my opinion again it's not proven or anything but i just think like you know if you look at uh, uh twice for example right they they got invested a lot of money in the beginning and they did very well um but then yeah because their name is already grandfathered or, or grandmothered into uh, the k-pop ecosystem the labels just started giving the more the, the the better sounding songs the bigger songs the songs that have more potential to their newer groups like um, itzy for example again that's that's my observation so i don't really let me put it this way if i like the girls i'll say i like the girls if i like the songs then it's strictly me liking the songs because the two don't really have much correlation with each other um, unless you're talking about like a twice or like a or something because those two groups cannot sit but yeah that's that's a bit of a tangent um i see we have quite a few viewers right now welcome welcome to the stream today i am uh trying to get to level 30 we have been live for 44 minutes right now coming up to 45 and uh surprisingly we're making really good progress we started at level 26 forgot what percentage i was but um 
It's only 8.31 p.m. right now, so hopefully I can hit level 30 before I um, end the session. And I might not... Well, actually, I don't know. Should I do my job events while streaming? Or would you guys like to see that in like a Let's Play video instead? I do know that I can uh, definitely like extract the footage later on and, and, and turn it into a Let's Play video. Uh, but I've never tried that before, so I don't know how well it works. Nice water. All right, let me shut up for like 30 seconds just to recuperate some of my oxygen. I should probably get a pet too. Ooh, good thing I checked. Don't want to miss out on those int. This is Iron Man. No, it's not Iron Man. <laughs> I mean, I could try to join an Iron Man guild with these kind of gear, you know? You know? I don't know how they like vet you. Maybe maybe I can sneak myself in and just be like the most OP level 29 magician ever. But um, no, this is not Iron Man. I'm 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 not uh, passionate enough about the old school experience to go Iron Man because that's just sadistic in my opinion but again there's definitely people that enjoy it um there's this uh twitch streamer i found out about yesterday his name is like something to do with runescape it's like maple story iron knight or something like that um he's doing an iron man so you guys go check him out um i don't know his exact actually yeah let me let me let me let me look that up for you guys give me one second let me just find out what is uh Okay, Maple Story Rune Knight. Maple Story Rune Knight. You guys go check him out, send him a sub. Um, he's doing full Iron Man on Maple Legends. Now, I don't think he commentates on his videos, so hopefully he does that in the future. But if you guys go check him out, just say that question sent you. <laughs> go, go raid his stream if, if that's even a thing with, uh, with the 18 viewers we currently have going. Um, have you always lived in Vancouver? I lived in Taiwan before. Uh, before I came to Canada, that was like when I was in elementary school. And then I lived in Alberta for a year for school. And then, yeah, ever since I've been living in Vancouver. Do both is interesting content. No, so we don't actually have Carnival PQ. I know a lot of people, they really play Maple uh, private servers for Carnival PQ. And I do agree, it's like, yeah, probably one of my fondest memories of that, like, you know, Neo Vintage old school maple story but unfortunately we don't we have ludibrium tower party quest instead duty pq is the one that you gotta uh jump the boxes and you know kill those monsters in the dark and kill alashar the big whale at the end um so that's another another uh, another way of having fun too and it is quite fun if i will say so myself it's just not very good when you're trying to make missiles because you usually end up with like either just potions or a bunch of useless ores by the end of every run Twenty-two percent. Currently, it's eight thirty-four p.m. on this beautiful Monday night. It was quite rainy out here today, uh, to be quite honest. But we are heading into mid-April, so hopefully the weather shapes up soon. Usually, it gets warm by like mid to late April, and that's when the weather starts becoming nice. Uh, makes it less depressing to live in Vancouver. Um, the cherry blossoms have starting to wan a little bit. It's not as. Are you cuffed? Yeah, I have a girlfriend if that's what you mean. <laughs> I, I I do have a girlfriend. My girlfriend plays Maple Legends too. I, I talked about this like in a previous stream, but I met her in school and she's like this super giga sweaty GMS player that's like 35k stats. And so that's like something that we really talked about and just kind of resonated and bonded over when we were just still in that like courting phase. Um, and then after we started dating, I asked her to come over to Maple Legends and she did, she played for a little bit, but then she's like, nah, this is too sweaty. Like it takes way too long to level up. So we went to GMS instead. And that's kind of why I've been gone for like the last nine months because yeah, once I start a game, I don't want to, there's so much to do. There's so much to do on GMS. And you know, in hindsight, would I have gone to GMS? I mean, yeah, like just cause I'm playing for her, right? Uh, but. If you guys want to try GMS, it really is a different experience from Maple Legends. Every day you log on, there's something that you have to do. 
It's not like you have things to do. It's you have to do it. Otherwise, you feel you fall really behind. And um, I enjoy that to a certain extent, but at one point, it gets kind of um, repetitive. Um, there's like waves of event that will come out. And so I think it was after I farmed like three phases of events. So what will happen is like, okay, think of like Maple Legends events, right? There's like the Lunar New Year one that just came out. Um, and then next one's probably like anniversary, which is probably gonna be like a month, two months from now. With Maple Story, every single month to two months, there's a new event. And the events are all like very OP. Sorry, let me take a deep breath, catch myself. I might have to like run my nose or something. Okay, I'll go be right back in like, I don't know, after I finish this idea. So on Maple Story, right, we were playing regular servers. Now there's also a lot of whales that just drop money on GMS. But for us, we were both free to play. Like sometimes we might spend money, but mostly it's on like royal coupons and cosmetics. Um, so with these events, it's like the stuff that you get from them is so OP. It would cost you like probably 200 bucks to get it otherwise, like if you want to spend real money on it. And so it made no sense for there to be an event that we're not farming. So what ended up happening was every time we're online, we're just farming the event and there's so many components of the event that you got to do. Um, and aside from that, there's also like, you know, arcane symbols and old stones that you gotta, you gotta be attentive to. So to be quite honest, I don't think like if you compare GMS to Maple Legends, it depends on what type of person you are. If you enjoy the grind, then definitely go for Maple Legends. But if you just want to like play for like a month, like let's say you're currently on like break, like you're in between jobs or whatever, you want to grind a game for a month, then GMS could be for you. Uh, but yeah, personally, I really am a old school Maple Story guy, so might be a little biased, but yeah, Maple Legends is the game. 35k stats only cap out. Yo, she's a free to play player. She's never bought like mesos or um, changed her NX into, into mesos or whatever. Like she's just a pure event grinder. So I call her sweaty all the time because yeah, like she farmed pretty much all the events that, that Nexon has rolled out uh, for the past couple of years. Asthma? I don't know, man. I don't think I have asthma. I think like my, like, my, my nose, my nasal, whatever it's called, my nasal cavity <laughs> is just like a lot like, what is that word? Like, okay, my nose hugs each other very close. You know, my left nostril, my right nostril hugs the center bone very close. That's what I think. So, you know, sometimes like when I breathe, it's it's kind of, yeah. You know what, let me, let me, let me go use the washroom. Be right back, washroom, and then run my nose too. I'm gonna get some water too. Be right back guys. All right, we are back, baby. It's not asthma. It is uh, just just my nose being weird. Uh, at least I hope. I don't think I have asthma because, yeah, like right now, you know, I'm more chilled out. I'm talking slower. Lean back in my chair, and uh, I feel just fine. I feel just fine. I just can't can't get excited. Can't can't get too excited when I talk. Cause, yeah, it's you guys never try this. Well, I, I think you guys never try this, but I've been live for 55 minutes now and. Talking non-stop, monologuing yourself for 55 minutes and getting excited over topics, 
your voice and, 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 and your breath will get tired as well. So <laughs> I don't think it's asthma. I hope it's not asthma. Um, this is Reboot. What kind of question is this, man? You trolling? I, I've seen you on my video before. Um, this is not Reboot. This is uh, Maple Legends. It's a uh, private server, old school Maple Story private server. If you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend you give it a try. It's probably one of the best games that I've played. Uh, Deviated Septum. I think that is it. Surgery changed my buddy's life if that's what you have. So I actually have a coworker that got that recently. And he's like pretty old. He's like hitting 50 pretty soon. Um, I don't know if I should get it. Like, I don't know if that is it. But yeah, sometimes it's just hard for me to breathe. It's, fuck man, I really hope it's not that, but I should really get it checked out. <sighs> yeah, like right now, my nose feel kind of clogged. Maybe it is asthma. Isn't there this thing that like, you like shoot up your nose and it like clears it up? Maybe I need that. Maybe it's like allergies too, I don't know. But I don't feel like, like if you if you have allergies, right? Don't you feel like an overall sense of tingliness that in the bad way i don't get that i just i just have difficulty breathing sometimes well not like severe difficulty breathing but just like especially when i'm talking i tend to breathe out of my mouth is that a weird thing by the way do you guys like breathe out of your mouth when you talk or is that just me uh i mean your girlfriend playing gms was oh uh okay. she played regular server she was playing an aurora and I was playing in Vera. So when we started dating, I went over to Aurora to join her, but then I was like, damn, man, this server is dead. <laughs> and then I brought her over to Vera. And now she still plays Vera, actually. That's why she's not out here right now. She's, she's, she's currently doing uh, her weekly bosses on Vera. Deviated Septum. I should look that up after this. It's not very fun. Uh, level. 29, 60% right now. Okay, let me chill for another like two minutes. My party my party member is probably looking at me like damn man, this guy doesn't do it any of his missiles. No wonder my inventory is still looking bad. <laughs> I should probably get a pet pretty soon, eh? I do still have some donor NX, but I think what I'll do is get myself that uh transparent one that i didn't get last time um i wasn't sure if i needed it because you can barely see this wooden one but yeah by the time i hit level 30 you're gonna be seeing this uh what is this called poisonous mushroom and so i don't know how well a poisonous mushroom goes with a jug of beer but we will find out pretty soon refer to the end he's getting checked out yeah, I should, eh? We have this concept called a family doctor in Canada, which pretty means you have no access to your doctor because all the doctors have way too many patients. So I should probably like look to book a appointment or something. Uh, but that takes away from my time grinding Maple Legends, you know? Can't have that. Gotta hit that uh, level 120 Archmage so we can start grinding Ulu 2 for some missiles. How's everyone doing on this fine Monday night? I think we're currently at six Gachapon tickets. Um, I don't know what amount I should go gacha at. Ugh. I know my buddy Fadigal, he's uh trying to stack up to 100 Gachapon tickets. By the way, if you guys haven't checked it out yet, go check out my friend Johawk, J-O-H-A-W-K. I'm gonna actually drop the link, drop a link in the description right here. Um, he's my RL buddy. We've been gaming together since like 2012. So yeah, more than more than 10 years. Wow, that's crazy to think about. Like I, I know him from high school, and I recently baited him into playing Maple Legends with me, and he's gotten just super hooked onto the game, and he started his own YouTube channel as well. So you guys go check him out. Sometimes he, um, well, sorry, he used to stream a lot, and by used to I mean like two days ago. Um, but I know right now he's focused on trying to hit level 70. So he's probably not going to be streaming for a while. But he's going to definitely still be making videos. And yeah, his stuff is his stuff is really good. Like he commentates a lot better than I do. And best part is he doesn't have a elongated septum or whatever it's called. Um, not elongated. What is it? Asthma? Uh, something septum? What's your major in college? I majored in business. Majored in business. 
That that was when I was grinding out these Maple Legends videos, man. That was when I was making like some dog shit. <laughs> if you guys have been watching Cozy for a long time, yo, actually I'm I'm curious, like for those of you out there that uh have been watching my channel for a while, like how how long have you been watching my channel for? Oh shit, heading out. Oh god, sorry, I, I shouldn't have missed that. I should have said gas to him. Yeah, like I think I started making videos in 20. 16 2016 2017 um and that was when my editing skills was so bad like man i i wouldn't even go back to watch my videos now there were videos that were just moments of me gaming with justin uh G joe hawk together and those ones were fine because those ones are just, are just like us having fun and messing around but the ones that i actually did do to dedicate as a video were like pretty bad <laughs> We need you to update on private the old yo no man i feel like you're the you're the one here that has been watching all my videos that's crazy um there were some like cringe and like not very uh not very forward thinking material that's suitable for modern audiences let's just leave it at that um so those ones will probably be kept private for a little bit longer until uh trump gets elected who knows sorry i'm gonna try to keep political stuff off of this channel not that I really have a stance in it, but I just find it quite funny. Um, and the fact that I'm not Mar American definitely helps as well. We are almost level 30. I am thinking about... Hmm, if I hit level 30 on stream, right? And then I go do my job advance. And I realize that I cannot extract the footage from YouTube. What am I going to do? Because then my Let's Play series gets all messed up. I think maybe we'll end the stream at like 95% and then I'll just do the rest on, on camera. I, I apologize. If, I know that's what not what you guys want to see. You guys want to see me at level, uh, level 30, the big 3-0 for second job, but I just can't risk like messing up my Let's Play series. I already promised you guys that it's going to be a long standing series. So, you know, if next video I just magically turn out to be level 30, some guys are going to be like, yo, this guy keeps leeching his own characters, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, can't can't have that. Yeah, you need to yeah yeah oh yeah, yeah. I, I can unprivate those yeah no worries the the thing with that like i got pretty choked because i had maple legends in my titles back then on like all my videos and what happened was like when i got copyright struck i think they like took off two of the two of the 10 episodes of my let's play series and so a lot of it just made no sense and to me personally those two episodes were also the best ones out of that whole uh, series so I just kind of privated everything just out of rage. I was like, man, fuck this shit, man. This, this is messed up. Uh, but I can definitely unprivate those. You guys can check it out. That was uh, during peak, peak Corona days. Peak Corona days. That was when I was like temporarily furloughed. Um, lost my job for like two weeks before they told us to. They were like, oh, work's getting busy again. You guys got to come back. So I went back. But, uh, yeah, I remember back then, like I would wake up. I think I might've said this in one of my older videos. Like I would wake up, slam a beer. And then brush my teeth, not before, and then just start playing Maple Legends. Oh, that was the best time of my life. Best time of my life. Saw this in the morning. You got like 100 subs today. No. Um, you talking about my channel? My channel, I'm, I think I'm almost at 800 actually. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. Uh, but if you're talking about Joe Hawk, I think last I checked, he's like at 50 subs. But yeah, you guys definitely go go drop him a sub. Drop a comment too. Be like, Cuisine sent me. You know, if you go anywhere, just say Cuisine sent me. That's going to make me feel like. I'm like a, I'm like a very respected individual, <laughs> which I try to be, but sometimes you can't always be a respected individual when you're uh, snatching people's squishy shoes and creating party quests, you know what I mean? Take out Maple Legends and Maple Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I'll do that. I think I'll do that. Snipple. Whoa. Hey. All right. Da, da, da. All right, we're currently at 15 viewers. It's crazy. I, I see on my uh, panel right now that the average view duration of this stream is at nine minutes. Um, the two streams that I had before were at like seven minutes or something. So it's good to see that stat improve. Maybe I'm getting better at streaming. The previous videos didn't have that like overlay on the right side. So maybe it was a lot more boring here or more boring, uh, but glad to see you guys enjoying the stream. 
All right, um, I'm gonna cut training here, but let me just reply to your comment, Picasso. Definitely, yeah, when you when you start your journey on Maple Legends, do add me, Ice Cold Asahi. More than happy to help you out. You said you can come on your last series into a one long video if you still have your old footage. No, I don't have my old footage anymore, unfortunately. Like, cause it takes up a lot of space on my hard drive. So I usually just delete them after uh, done. All right, and with that being said, guys, thank you guys all so much for watching. Um, it has been a great grinding session, exactly an hour long, actually, um, hour and five minutes. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell if you wanna be notified the next time that I go live or upload a video. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. The next one will be episode four of Let's Play